What's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today I'm coming to you with some breaking, breaking news, man. So it looks like law enforcement has charged four different suspects in the murder of Honeycomb Brazy's grandparents. Now, for those of you who don't know or haven't been keeping track, one of the biggest cases in hip-hop last year were when Mobile, Alabama rapper Honeycomb Brazy's grandparents were killed in what was being called a retaliation of some street stuff that went on between their grandson, Honeycomb Brazy, and some other dudes in the town. Now, there were a lot of rumors that were circulating around at the time, but there was no clear suspect. I mean, it's been over a year since the crime was committed, and I didn't even know if we would come close to seeing anybody being brought to charges for this brazen murder. Now, for those of you who are squeamish about these things, I'm going to warn you, this is a horrible story because it involves some older people, elder people, man, in their golden years of their life, losing their life behind what somebody, some would say was a beef their grandson had. And they lost their life in the most heinous way, being burned alive, man. But it looks like the long arm of the law was on the job and they have four people that they are charging with this crime. Now, before we get to the story, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this Honeycomb Brazy story. Now, Honeycomb Brazy, aka Nashawn Jones, is a rapper from Mobile, Alabama, who had quite a buzz. He was signed to rap a lot, I believe, like or at least signed to J. Prince Jr., you know what I mean? And dude seemed like he had the up and up in the rap game, these long freestyles that went viral. People were loving him, man. Plus, Mobile has a good footing in the rap game right now. So there was ability for a lot of upside with collaborations with other rappers from Mobile in the game and, and whatnot, right? But it seemed like ever since his inception in the game, and rap game that I'm talking about, Honeycomb Brazy has had some type of drama. And this came to rear its ugly head last year around February time frame when his grandparents were killed in a gruesome house fire and shooting, man. Now, four people have been charged with these murders, and it looks like law enforcement, at least, feels like they have the right people. Now, one of the names is familiar, but let's reference the story. So there was a story that came out on the Fox 10 News there in Mobile, Alabama, and the headline said this. It said, four people charged with the murders of Tony and Layla Lewis. Now, the story goes on to say that in Mobile, Alabama, law enforcement authorities on Friday signed arrest warrants charging convicted drug kingpin Jaron Jamark D.D. Southall and three others with the murders of rapper Honeycomb Brazy's grandparents. Now, if you guys remember the videos that I did in the past about this subject, that name D.D. Southall came up while he was already on trial for some drug convictions, allegedly, right? Now, or some, some drug charges, I should say, allegedly, right? Now, Tony and Layla Lewis suffered violent deaths inside their home on Dr. Thomas Avenue in Mobile's Happy Hill community when gunmen fired repeatedly into the building, which also exploded and caught fire. The ensuing blaze also damaged the house next door. Now, if you guys remember that footage, man, of that house being burned and the grandkids and everybody crying outside, it was it was a horrific scene, man. I'm not even gonna lie, it was horrible, man. It was like, man, this street stuff didn't got to this point, man. But obviously, they feel like, the, I guess, the shooting caused the explosion or whatnot, right? And caused caused the fire. And there were some elder people. So, you know, they have a problem probably moving around and stuff. It's just a horrible combination of events, right? Now, Mobile County Assistant District Attorney Lewis Walker said Layla Lewis succumbed to the fire. So, meaning that she lost her life to the fire. His grandma lost her life to the fire, man, which is horrible. Prosecutors allege that Darren... D.D. Jamark Southall, 43 years old, and others participated in the murder. The three others charged with the murder are Terrence Sanchez Watkins, 25 years old, Jamarcus Devontae Chambers, 29 years old, and there's a fourth man who has not been identified. Now, in all reports, he hasn't been identified, so I don't know why that is. You know what I mean? He's not identified in any of the reporting of this story on either side, right? Now, all four are also charged with shooting into an occupied building. Walker said he could not go into detail about the allegations at this time, but added the charges represent a major breakthrough. So they're saying this is a major breakthrough in the case, and obviously they're feeling 
cocky about the fact that they feel like they got their guys. You know what I mean? Now, in quotations, it says this. We're very grateful for the district attorney's office to be able to, at this point, make and approve charges in light of the Mobile Police Department's hard work and investigation to hold those responsible for this double murder to be held responsible under the law, he told Fox 10 News. And I believe that's the district attorney there talking. Now, separately, on Friday, a federal judge sentenced Southfall to 35 years in prison for drug and escape evictions. Remember the last time that we talked about Southfall, he had escaped from jail and they were still trying to find him and put him into another jail, man. It was it was a crazy situation surrounding this guy. Law enforcement source adding to that, telling me investigators believe it may have been a murder for hire. Southall is a dangerous man, according to Barber, and his rap sheet backs that up. He's been in and out of Mobile and Baldwin County jails since the 90s. Now, as you heard in that news clip, he was already being considered a person of interest. This was last year sometime, right? And he was already being wanted for various charges. And he had previously slipped, you know, the guards at one facility and was considered a dangerous suspect. You know what I mean? So dude had a long track record in history with the local uh, law enforcement there. You know what I mean? Now, on Thursday, a judge signed a preliminary forfeiture order allowing federal authorities to keep drug proceeds seized during the investigation where South Hall was originally arrested. Now, in quotes, it said he had the biggest operation, the largest amount of drugs, that was going through tremendous amounts of cash, acting U.S. attorney Sean Costello said. He had a sophisticated operation that was by large the largest scale drug dealer we've had operate in this area for a long time. Now they're talking about South Hall there. And what's crazy is Honeycomb Brazy had taken to social media many a time and said one of the biggest dudes in the city was on him. You know what I'm saying? Had it out for him, didn't like him, was, was had it out for him regardless, you know what I mean? And if, if all this proves to be true, it seems like that's that's facts. Now, while he was locked up awaiting trial on those charges, South Hall had escaped from the Clark County Jail in May, and he pleaded guilty to that offense in September. So it looked like he pleaded guilty in September. And I believe that includes the charges that he was found guilty for this week. So it's, man, it's crazy, man. It looks like they, he's got even bigger charges coming when it comes to these two murders, man, because everybody on this situation, man, is they're looking at big time, man. They're looking at big time. But what do you guys think about this crazy story coming full circle and four suspects actually being charged, man? And I, I think two of them are already arrested. Don't hold me to that. But I know that South Hall was already in custody, but it looks like, man, the other guy, they're looking for him and another guy, but there's warrants out for their arrest. And it looks like this might come to a close if these are the suspects who really committed the crime. And like I say, always, you're always innocent until proven guilty, but they seem surefire about who they have apprehended at the time. And based on what Honeycomb Brazy was saying in this past post, it kind of almost matches up, don't it? Now with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this out content. And we out of here, peace.